Testing, testing. What? But seriously, what do I say? Ready? Yep. Hold on. This is all wrong. I wish I could blame it on El Tulnado, but I'll explain in a minute. El Tulnado got a head start for me. Uh, I was at work and now I got off work. So I get to take my turn on the, uh, the old sod cutter here. Looks like it could be kind of fun. Let's give it a go. a sod cutter before I had no clue what to expect um, but I did want to use it because so th this is weird we're, we're planning on moving at some point I don't exactly know when but when I move the property line for my house that goes along the ditch right here meaning that everything on the other side of that that Tahoma 31 over there I'm taking with me so I kind of wanted to see how much of a pain it is to sod cut what that looks like or whatever it was actually pretty easy uh, anywhere where the grass is nice and it has like decent dirt sod cutter awesome like it just flies through no no effort uh, over there where the dirt is really terrible that didn't hold together a sod it kind of fell apart but anywhere where there's actually nice grass like it was easy to cut up the sod so I am encouraged about cutting up all the sod over that's gonna be a lot of work that'll be <laughs> back breaking but that's my plan is to cut that up over there and take it all with me oh I guess I haven't told you what I'm doing <laughs> with cutting up this sod uh, the reason we're doing this snake sort of pattern all through the lawn, putting in an irrigation system. Um, so anyway, that's, there's a teaser for you. That's what's coming up next. But putting in an irrigation system, and this is the way that the path will go for the piping. And I chose to cut the sod for the fastest recovery possible. We're gonna roll it all up, take it off to the side. We gotta do our trench uh, in the spot, obviously, where we took the sod up. We'll put the dirt over. I toyed with the idea of putting plastic down and for the trencher to put all the dirt on the plastic. But I don't, as you saw, this goes throughout my entire yard and I think that, that would be a huge pain. So my plan is just to trench it, let the dirt fall over on the grass and then we'll just like shovel it all back in and then rake it really good to get every little tiny little rock and everything back into the trench before we put the sod back on top. And then um, it's gonna settle. You know, I will probably pull out some rocks. There'll be stuff to pull out. So we'll put the dirt back put the sod on top and over time, the ditch where the irrigation is gonna settle. So I've already got a load of sand way out yonder, if you can see that. And um, we'll put sand on top of the trench to flatten it out. I'm gonna do sand everywhere again at some point. So as it settles, we'll add more sand. Okay, so here's what happened. I don't, what do you, how do you say, read things? <laughs> So I have an email, it's, it's all the instructions on the irrigation system, and I have all the instructions. I just, I, I read it, I've seen that before. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. This, I, I thought it was supposed to go in order. So I'm going in order of all of the sprinkler heads. No, it does need to go in order, but not like, it doesn't have to go right up next to the sprinkler head. What I'm going to do, the better way to do this, instead of having literally 180 degrees of my pipe exposed to the tree roots, and this all came clear to me as I was laying in bed, sleepless night going, wait a minute, what's wrong with that? And I'm reading the emails and going, oh shoot. And then like figured out the way that I was gonna do it. We got that sod cutter, it's two days later, getting another sod cutter. So this is an expensive mistake on my part. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is just leave this and we're gonna do a straight line. We're gonna cut sod from that sprinkler head, which is number two, all the way to number four. And then number three is just gonna stub in. We're gonna come straight from that line off and just have a long, tail, I guess, that goes to three. We're gonna do the same thing over by the green on number 10. Um, so it's gonna be better that way. It was, all of this was just unnecessary. So uh, moral of the story is maybe 
have your plan all written out before you start cutting up sod. And I'll see you later. Ha, <laughs> ha,